Hey there. Uh, well, I was expected to the lightning talks start after the uh, Ross talks, after the Sebastian and Manish talks. What? Well, I'm going to say in a few minutes what is this supposed to be. Well, Servo is a modern high-performance browser. This is hijacked from the web page. Uh, browser engine designed for application embedded uh, use is um, funded by Mozilla and is developed in, Git, in, Git, in GitHub and follows the GitHub workflow. Um, okay, uh, is, and it's implemented in Rust, which is a new fancy language we, we are talking about. We are talking about it and has all these features, and it's pretty nice. Next, 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 no next. And here we're going to talk about the, the media player, how media is playing in Servo nowadays. And we are using a special library, which in roster called Crates, uh, which call, is named Servo Media. And it's an abstraction layer for media operations. And there's three packages in there. There is an audio package, which is implements the web audio, which is going to be talked tomorrow by Banish. And the other one that I want to talk about here now is the player package, which plays audio and video tags. And also there's backends. And for now, there is only one backend, which is the GStreamer backend, which is used by through the GStreamer RS uh, bindings. And the GitHub repository is over there. Yeah. And well, GStreamer RS is the GStreamer bindings, which talk about also for now follows the, the GitHub Proflow and is in the Sebastian repositories. And the server media player backend, which is uh, for, for playing the player, audio and video tags, uses the GST player API, which is now living in GST plugins BAT, and it's a convenient CV API for audio and video playback. Uh, this is a technology inside of, of server, which is the web render, which is a GPU-based render for server, and basically it paid frames or textures or something in the screen. And this is a separate crate, and basically we are talking in, inside servo, the player crate sends the, the frames to, to the web render in order to be displayed. And the current status of the player is works, simple AB playbacks. And right now the web, the web render paints frames as images. So there is a mem copy that we want to, to avoid now. Uh, the work in progress right now is Seeking, which is some merge done by, by Fernando now. And we're looking for hardware acceleration and zero copy code paths as much as possible. Uh, for hardware acceleration, we depends on the, on the already uh, just to more elements that are in there, the OMX, B4L, BAPI, NVDEC, or all of those. The good thing about those elements is that they are capable to deliver, sort of them, uh, GL textures in forms of GL images or them above. So basically what we want to do is what already uh, doing WebKit, which is a geo, uh, having a sync that will do the geo blob, geo convert, and the app sync. The app sync will deliver the texture to the web render. And the web render will render them as a composite textures. Uh, for that, we, we are working on the GStreamer GL bindings for, for Rust, which is, uh, is split into, into crates, which is the GStreamer. In, in GStreamer Cs, we already have the GStreamer GL, which is the basic FFI uh, bindings. Now we're working in the GStreamer RS, the, the real bindings, or which are proper to use in, in the Rust uh, languages. And we are struggling with a several thing like the separation of EGL, GLX, Wayland support by features. And that's it. Thank you very much.